What up, guys? MC Bomb Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a working shop. So right now, I wanna I wanna sell this Xmas blade in my game. So let's just quickly play, and uh, as you see, I I don't have anything scripted, but I have these swords in my inventory that I could use. But please ignore them. But let's say I wanted to sell one of them. Can we quickly make that invisible? Okay, yeah, it might take a second. Okay, anyways, so... It's pretty simple on how to do it. If you have a basic knowledge of scripting, you could probably pull it off. It doesn't take too long to do. Okay, so... If you just quickly stop and see... Let's just quickly turn that off, and let me quickly turn that on. So I made my own um, insert service thing. So let me just quickly get the ID of that Christmas store that I was talking about earlier. And you it just uses the insert service, so nothing big. I don't really take much time on it, but anyways. So I have it now. Let me just quickly delete all that and paste it in, bam. Now I just have to click that and... Okay, where are all the, those swords even falling? Am I touching them? Okay, well I have them now, I guess. So I only need one to do this. So... I have that now, so in a second... So yeah. No, I don't need to stop it. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly copy that a sword, then stop, and then paste it into replicated storage, and then I'm probably gonna group it. So yeah, now I am going to be. So yeah, I made an I made a separate model where I'm gonna store everything, which is helpful, so you can organize everything. So yeah, I know that's visible again. So, yeah, so we do need to have a text button to actually make this work. And so, inside of the text button, you must use a local script. Whenever you're dealing with GUIs, you have to use a local script, or else it will not work. Okay. So I only I I'll just rename it. So before we do that, first of all, let me show you this. This is the uh, leaderboard script. So this leaderboard script will create a new stat, which is which could be like cash or points. But I simply changed it to points. Let me just quickly change that. Anyway, so this script basically will make stats that everyone can see. It has to be named leader stats in. For the money dot name or points dot name, just change that to whatever you want. That's gonna be what it's named. So, anyways, copy that down if you want to. Pause if you need to. So, I will advance in one second. So, anyways, the Roblox Wiki has a good explanation on how to use these. So you can go check that out. So anyways, as you can see, I have the points there. So now, I can just stop that and close that, I guess. Anyways, as you can see, you, you do need that for it to actually work. But let, let's actually move on to this script. So for this, you're going to want to define some variables first. You're going to want to define their um backpack and their... um. I mean, so you want to define their backpack, which you, and, I mean, you want to define the player, and also their points. So you don't want to, for the points, you want to, you don't want to do points without value, because then you, whenever you you do points, you do, you would be doing points equal this, which would change everything. So you don't really want to do that, so, I would do, 
game.players.localplayer.leaderstats.points because then I would ha have to do points dot value equals or equal equals whatever so anyways so after we do that we need to actually uh, make it so whenever you click it actually does a function so whenever you click whenever s you click on the button that script will execute and it will do a function okay so next this script is fairly simple so all you really have to do is um, you put an if statement so if points dot value equal so when you put two equal signs or a greater than and an equal sign like that then it will say oh if it's greater than this then you can do then you can play it I mean then you can get the item or if it's equal or if it equals exactly to 10 then it'll also do it so I know that you can put and statements in these but I just prefer not to because if you don't use and statements then you have more possibilities to do so anyways if we just go ahead and do it and do this so as you can see I just put this in so if not so if it detects the item in their backpack or, or their character because whenever you equip an item in your backpack it goes to your character so if it finds an item like that then it if it does not find an item like that then it will just skip it if it does not find an item like that then it will continue on with it so you will be able to keep doing everything so before we do this though I'm probably going to define an else variable I'm, I'm going to define an else statement here oh yeah not there so if we put an else here then it's going to say then this goes for the points of value if it's this goes with the points of value if it if it if the purchase is not successful then it'll say more money needed and then it's going to wait three seconds let me turn, turn on text tailed and then it's going to wait three seconds and then turn it back to the normal n normal stuff so anyways as you can see BAM equals by so anyways as you can see it's going good so we've got an else statement for the first one now we gotta continue scripting here so if it do if so now we're at the part where we actually have to um, clone the tool into the person's inventory so we have to define a local variable which is the which is the clone thing or whatever so local whatever so did I do that right equals Let's get our clay storage. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is is just look at what I do here. Game dot clay storage dot then sword or whatever, and then you put in clone. And then after you put in clone, actually, yeah, I, you have to define a local variable. So let's do a local main main clone or whatever. So yeah. Then you're gonna want to do main clone dot parent equals the player. So then you want to do equals player dot backpack. Now, yeah, player dot backpack. And then after this, what I'm gonna do is make it so it clones into the player starter gear. So if they die, they will still have it. So I'm just gonna call it main clone one and. Well, it's how to do it into the starter gear. So, yeah, if you die, everything will be fine. So, don't worry if you die. So, yeah, anyways. 
Now that we have that, it should actually be working. Woo! But let's first add an else statement. Else statement. So else script dot parent dot parent dot text equals. You already have it. And then wait three, and then changes it back to the normal text. So, as you can see, you made a full working shop that even has else statements telling the player. So now, if you really want to, then if you can go to the bottom and where it says more money needed, you can put in how much money needed. So, it would have to be um, 10 minus the amount of points that you have. And then... Yeah, that's basically what it would be. So yeah, anyways, as you can see, I already have that, so it's telling me that I already... Oh, whoops. Well, I messed up on this. I accidentally deleted the later stat, so let me just quickly redo it. And let me just quickly buy it. So I, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to do it, so I have to... So I have... So yeah, I will give myself money and bam, I already have it. So yeah, this shop really does work. So if you like the video, then please subscribe to me and like the video. It's much appreciated. If you want me to do more tutorials like these, then you can already, you can do it. You can t then just tell me in the description. So yeah, I hope all of you enjoyed the video. Took me a while to do. Bye guys.